Hi everyone and welcome back for another video. Um, I'm going to explain why my hair looks like this in a moment. Um, but I just wanted to just tell you something that happened to me yesterday. Um, so I was out with my friend and we were in a hair shop while she was um, getting some hair to, to, um, to do braided extensions. And um, the thing I always hate about going into hair shops is um, they're, for the most part, in the UK anyway, as far as I've observed, run by um, uh, Indian or Pakistani Asians. Not um, not Oriental Asians, as I, I'm, I'm aware that they are run by in the States, um, but Indian or Pakistani Asians. Anyway, so you go into these shops and they normally have about, I don't know, five to six, maybe sometimes ten, depending on how big the, um, the establishment is, um, um, five to ten workers um, walking around and they're basically in every single aisle. And as you're walking along, they're basically watching you. Um, and they'll follow you around the, the store and basically just make you feel like a thief. Um, and so for the most part, I don't go into those establishments and wherever I can, I will go into a black hair um, shop um, because I feel like I would rather give my money to people who value me because I don't get that same sort of like, you know, people follow me around. Obviously they're watching you because, you know, um, they're small businesses and they can't afford, um, you know, any sort of um, stock losses. I understand that. But at least I feel like when I go in there, I'm valued as a customer. And they're always really friendly, like, you know, how can I help you, sister, blah, 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 blah. That sort of, you know, those are, that's the sort of treatment that you get when you go in there. At least in the ones I've been into. So I will pay that extra difference, even if it's a pound more for our products, because service matters to me and the way I'm treated matters to me. Anyway, so um, we're in this store and I'm just getting really agitated. And in my head, I'm thinking, God, I'm so glad that I don't have to rely on wigs and fake hair in order to um, feel good about my, myself. And plus, I had a braid out and I was really feeling myself. You know, my hair was looking good, it felt really moisturised, you know, and it wasn't feeling dry or damaged or anything like that. So I was feeling really good about myself. And then as the longer I was in there, I was thinking to myself, well, you know, maybe your hair does deserve a break because you are manipulating it quite a lot. And also, you know, my um, trouble spots in the middle, it, um, you know, whenever I do get breakage, that seems to be the place that gets the most breakage. Um, and also the other trouble spot was here, which, um, you know, doesn't seem to be growing um, as, as much. Um, as, as it did in my hair journey when I used to wear wigs and weaves and um, you know and partly the reason why I didn't want to um, go back to wearing any wigs or weaves was because I wanted to feel proud of my hair because I remember when I was a kid and in fact probably throughout most of my adulthood I used to rely on fake hair um, to make myself feel good um, and it was only uh, I think when I turned about 24 no, actually about 21. So from 21 for about six to seven years, I had natural hair. I didn't really know how to take care of it, but I had natural hair and it was, it would break and you know, whatever, but I was determined I was gonna stick with natural hair. But I used to wear braided extensions as well, even though I had natural hair. So I wasn't really taking care of my hair. And you know, part of the reason why I started this hair journey was to be able to love my hair and to, no matter how it looked or how, you know, um, I, you know I, I was struggling with it, I wanted to be proud of the hair that was in my on my head and growing out of my head and that's what God blessed me with. So I didn't really want to, you know, rely uh, back on weaves and wigs. Anyway, so having said that, the longer I was in the store, the more I started to look around and I was like, hmm, well, you know, maybe you should try. Maybe you should try wearing a wig again. See, you know, just give your hair a bit of a break, you know, rest and, um, you know, don't, don't think too much about, you know, manipulating your hair every morning. Um, or most mornings anyway on the way to work so then I, I saw a wig which I thought I would I would try so it was this one uh, it's called um got it and it's so budget yeah because <laughs> in my head I just didn't want to spend any money with these people and I thought well mm, I'm only spending 25 pounds so you know you're not really getting my money which is kind of stupid because they are getting my money regardless of how much I spend in there but anyway um, the hair um, is called Celebrity Elite and it really looks budget. The box looks budget, yeah? Um, <laughs> and it's a lace front wig. Um, and the reason why I wanted to get another lace front wig, with, um, especially um, not a straight one, was because I didn't want to be straightening my hair like I had done um, when I was wearing a lace front wig um, at the very beginning of my journey. So I wanted a curly one that would at least, all I had to do was do a braid out and then, you know, I'd be able to blend it with the texture of my hair. So. Um, that's the wig I got and this is the wig 
typical lace front wig it's got two clips at the front you see that two clips at the front okay and one at the back and it's got straps at the back as well so um, I've done a braid out as you can see so there's my hair all out and then I've um, put on a wig cap obviously to protect my hair so I'm just gonna pop this wig on and this is the first time I'm actually trying it straight out of the box so um, we will see what we end up looking like we look like a big hot mess okay so here we are and it doesn't look too bad actually let me just um, pull out my hair to try and disguise the lace God, I swear, when I was in that shop, yeah, I saw some shocking hair. Shocking. And then as I was walking with my natural hair, right, I had women asking me if I wanted to do my hair. I was like, uh, hello? I actually like being natural. You know, because the thing is, as I, as I recall, walking around there, I didn't see too many women with natural hair. Even though my hair's not actually natural, it's, but it's, it's as close in texture to natural hair as possible. Um, but yeah, anyway. So I was kind of offended by that. Um, anyway, so yeah, actually, look at this, doesn't look too bad. Um, the only thing I don't like about it is a bit long and it's a bit shiny, but I guess um, over time it will sort of lose that shininess. But um, that doesn't look too bad at all. I'm, I'm okay with that. Well, all right, maybe I'll take some pictures at the end and show you. I'm not... Um, I'm not saying that I'm going to wear this wig forever now, um, or this is going to be, become a predictive style, but, you know, I thought I'd try it on and see, um, well, maybe, I don't know, we'll see, but there you go, that's my lace front wig, it's synthetic by the way, it's not um, real hair, um, it's not um, human hair, so it's synthetic, and um, I might just wash it and, you know, maybe try and dull um, the shininess of it, because my natural hair is never that shiny, uh, so yeah, it looks alright. Okay, well, let me know what you think. Right, so I just stepped outside and um, I've come to the realisation that this this wig is not for me or wigs generally are not for me at this moment in time. I just felt like I was carrying this thing on my head. Um, that's not to say that I'm judging other people who wear wigs and weaves because obviously I wore one myself at the beginning of my hair journey. But for me, at this moment in time, I'm going to find a way of caring for my hair which doesn't involve wearing a wig. Um, that's a decision for me. You make the decision that's right for you. At this moment in time, wigs, no, no. All right, <laughs> that's the end of my video. See you later, bye.